In this section, I'm going to show you how to add a triggered campaign to Marketer. So firstly, you need to be marketing activities, find my first program that we've already created, right click and create a new smart campaign. We're going to call it my first triggered program and then add your name. Once we've done that, we'll need to set the smart list, the flow and the schedule. So for the smart list, we're going to create a trigger for visiting a website. So let's say we want to target people that have visited a particular web page. So in this case, we'll drag across visits website and and we might say we're only interested if they visit the contact us page. So for the web page, we would actually put contains and then we would put contact us. So contact us would need to be in the URL of the web page for this to trigger. But let's say we wanted to be a bit more sophisticated and say we only want to trigger this if they visit us a certain amount of times. So for example, they would need to visit the contact page two times before this trigger occurred. So what you'll notice is this trigger trigger is not a filter, it has this little lightning bolt which notifies us that it is an actual activity trigger. Otherwise we would have a filter which is for segmentation, which is the little funnel. So that's not what we want. Filters can only be used for scheduled campaigns. What we want is a campaign that actually fires from behavioral activity of a particular person. So for example, visiting a web page. Now in terms of the flow, all we're going to do here is send them an email. So we'll look for our internal email and then select. Now the last step is we actually need to activate this. So we don't need to set a schedule because it is a trigger campaign, it's real time, but we do need to activate it. The other important thing is to set the settings. Can people trigger this every single time they visit the contact us page or is it only a certain limitation? So let's say we only want this to fire once every day. We could do it every time, but for a contact us page, we might only want one a day. Let's click save. And then the last step is to activate it. So now once we activate it, it's live, it's ready to trigger. And you'll notice on the left here, the light bulb will have been turned on, which signals that it's a triggered campaign and it's ready to go. Now let's add some extra triggers to this program just to see what kind of triggers Marketer has. Find your first triggered program, go to smart list. We're going to explore some. Another useful trigger is the clicks link in email. So this trigger here specifies that if someone clicks a link in a particular email, then it will trigger. You can also add constraints such as which is the link, actual link that they clicked on in the email. So if you have multiple links in the email, you can select which particular link will trigger this. Now when you have multiple triggers like this, either of them can trigger this campaign. So if I visited a web page, that would trigger the campaign. If I clicked a link in the email, that would trigger the campaign. Another useful trigger is the fills out form trigger. So if we start typing, we'll get the fills out form and we can drop that in. So this is triggered anytime someone fills out a form on a landing page. So we could trigger it on a particular form. So for example, my first form, or we could further limit it to an actual page. So here we might say, we only want to trigger if they fill out this form on a particular landing page that we've created. So for example, my first landing page, or it could be the lead capture page. This form's used on both, but we can specify which one will actually trigger this flow. And there you go, some common triggers that are useful in automated workflows.